And back to that explosion that rocked a South LA neighborhood last night, injuring 17 people and damaging nearby homes and cars. It happened after police attempted to safely detonate illegal fireworks that were seized from a home. We have live team coverage this morning, beginning with CBS 2's Tina Patel at the command post near East 29th Street and South Pedro. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. There is a large area that has been blocked off and secured by the LAPD as they wait for national teams from the ATF to arrive and help in the investigation. As you said, this was supposed to be a controlled detonation last night, and they're still trying to figure out what went wrong. Take a look. A huge explosion just before eight last night. That's when about 10 pounds of illegal homemade fireworks that had been moved into a specialized truck blew up. That truck was supposed to be capable of handling up to 15 pounds of hazardous material. And investigators say all proper protocols were followed, so they don't know why the truck didn't hold. But the damage was spread out across several blocks. 17 people injured, 10 LAPD and ATF officers, and seven people in the neighborhood. Fortunately, those were all minor or moderate injuries. Some people have already been treated and released. Everyone expected to recover. Now, in addition to the homemade devices, investigators also found about 5,000 pounds of legal fireworks at this home in South L.A. A short time ago, they gave us an update on the removal of all of those. Throughout the night, we did a sweep of the surrounding blocks to make sure there was no uh, devices that were, that were, you know, hazardous to the community members here. And as we come back out here live right now, they do think the area is safe. They have a 27-year-old man in custody this morning. He's been identified as Arturo Cejas III. They believe that he brought all of those explosives from out of state with the intention of selling them. He's now being held on half a million dollars bail. We'll send it back to you. And how could something like this happen? in a community, in a neighborhood, period, yes. regardless of who lives there. Yes. We continue our team coverage this morning with CBS 2's Joy Benedict. She is live with what neighbors are saying about the terrifying explosion. Joy, good morning to you. Good morning, DeMarco. I mean, you said it right. They're saying it was terrifying, that they didn't know exactly what was going on here the morning after. You can see the entire area is still roped off. As we mentioned, we're on San Pedro right now in 27th Street. You can see the exploded police vehicle there right across the street. This is the block that had the most impact and the most damage, unfortunately. Take a look at this video from last night. As you can see, those cars that were flipped over because of the impact of this explosion, windows were shattered all up and down this block. I'm told for maybe a two block radius here from this area. That's how far that blast went and how damaging it was. As Tina was talking about, you have all those people who were injured and talking to folks that live here in this community who were quickly ushered out of the neighborhood. They say it was downright frightening because they just didn't know what was going on. It felt like the, like our bed was shaking. Our bed, whole bed was shaking. So when it felt like that, I got up and I felt like it was just a really hard earthquake until it stopped and then we heard like the earthquake, like it felt like something exploded. It truly uh, was a very devastating blast uh, as you, you've seen from the pictures and those uh, the live shot that was uh, occurring here when this happened. There was a car that was overturned. There's a lot of uh, glass that was shattered. Uh, approximately half a block here, there's, there's damage visible damage to cars and homes. Now, there originally was a shelter that was set up over at Trinity Recreation Center. It has now been turned into a long-term shelter because that's how long they're expecting this scene to remain a scene. They're thinking that folks aren't going to be able to get back on their block throughout the weekend as they're waiting for ATF from out of state to arrive here and work on this investigation. We did stop by that Red Cross shelter earlier this morning. They say they have about seven neighbors that are staying there tonight. It's not clear if more will show up in the morning when they realize this is going to be a longer investigation than they were originally thinking. I'll send it back to you.